Hi, another film I watched this weekend was Barbie, the biggest film of 2023, Greta Gerwig's adaptation of the loose mythology surrounding Mattel's biggest selling product. The film opens in Barbie land, where stereotypical Barbie, played by Margot Robbie, is enjoying another perfect day of uh, spending time with her friends, going to the beach and saying hello to the thousands of Kens there, particularly the one played by Ryan Gosling, who's sweet on her, and then having a party with all her friends that night in her house. But she's, she interrupts things when she suddenly asks in the middle of dancing whether or not any of the others ever think about death. She slowly realises that something is wrong, and that consulting weird Barbie, played by Kate McKinnon, that someone in the real world who's been playing with her has having these same kind of existential thoughts. So she, accompanied by Ken, ventures to the real world to track down her owner and find out what's going on. So far, it's quite Lego movie-ish. And in fact, Will Ferrell plays the president of Mattel, which increases the uh, connection further. But the film, as is widely you known now, of course, is very much a feminist treatise. Um, we finally meet the owner, and it's not, in fact, the young girl, but her mother, played by America Ferreira, who is having existential thoughts of her own and projecting these through the dolls that she uh, has pulled out of storage and started playing with again. Through her, we get uh, lengthy pieces of dialogue about the challenge of being a woman, um, of having to thread that almost impossibly narrow needle of what is expected in a male-dominated society. Ken, meanwhile, has discovered that the real world is completely male-dominated, thinks it's great, takes that back to Barbie land, and as a result, the Kens overrun the whole country. Uh, so we have that contrast then between the matriarchy of the original Barbie land, where the Barbies are all incredibly intelligent and uh, well-trained and run everything and do so brilliantly, but the Kens are basically all appendages. Um, the film suggests that true equality isn't possible through something like just matriarchy. It has to be real equality. And that, in particular, men need to acknowledge the <laughs> hardship to which they put women every single second of every single day. I liked how much the film <laughs> was flat out stating its subtext to the audience, literally in long speeches, almost right down the barrel of the camera, um, just to make absolutely sure that everyone knew what this movie was about. And that even so, the film made one and a half billion dollars at the box office. People don't mind being lectured to when it's something that actually matters and that they can really engage with on this level, I think. There's a great deal of wit and intelligence at play here. And the film also looks extraordinary. The Barbie world is... Uh, like toys literally brought to life. Um, the performances are superb across the board. Ryan Gosling as Ken really stands out with the, the arc of the character being the very seriously drawn, but he's still throughout a complete goofball and almost a joke of a character, even though his the way his arc is sketched is a serious and dramatic progression over the course of the story. Um, there's a lot here to like. It's not, I don't think, the movie of the year. I don't think it's necessarily best picture material, but it is very good. Um, there are, I think, one or two flaws. I think it's maybe slightly too long. I think that the... Um, meta-narrative elements. We have a narrator played by Helen Mirren and the film frequently acknowledges its own artifice. The narrator even makes a joke about the fact that Barbie stating things about, uh, about her own appearance, those lines would land better if she weren't played by someone as flawlessly attractive as Margot Robbie. Um, and although those those jokes are funny, I feel it's, it's, it's kind of trying to do everything and a little bit getting in its own way. But overall, I, I like this. It's uh, warm and humane and intelligent and funny. It's a comedy that's actually funny, which is quite a nice change at the moment. Um, and it has something serious and sensible to say. And it is able to communicate that through this medium extremely well. The fact that, as I say, it has characters just flatly monologuing about the problems of the world in a way that's 
all but directed at the audience, and it still works, I think is testament to the combined talent of Gerwig, her co-writer Noah Baumbach, the skill of the actors, particularly America Ferreira and uh, Ryan Gosling, as I say. The fact that a movie like this makes one and a half billion dollars worldwide, I think, is definitely something to celebrate. I don't think it's maybe a world beater, but for this to be the biggest movie of the year, that can only be a good thing.